Today's workplace is changing faster than ever before, from job types and responsibilities to working conditions and requirements. Do better workplaces, though, make a better world? Well, Johnny C. Taylor, Jr. is CEO of the Society for Human Resource Management, or SHAM, and he's with us here in the studio. Johnny, great to have you with us. Great to be here. Thank you. So is the future jobs market clear? And if so, you know, what's the role of HR? What we know is it's a little unclear, to say the very least. Many of the jobs that will exist 10 years from now, we don't know about right now. So inherently, there's this lack of clarity around the future of work. But what we know is now that we are in a knowledge-based, information-based economy, people will matter and individuals and employees and therefore work-related HR issues will matter. So it's, we are now at a point in our history, probably more than ever before, we have to fully understand HR and people. What do you think the best way is to retain good employees? Culture. Organizations that get their culture right keep people. There's a limit to how long people will stay if they're in organizations, no matter what you pay them, what you title them. Ultimately, people work for organizations where they feel like they belong and where they're valued. So getting culture right is the number one thing that an organization can do to keep its best people. Now, you're speaking at a conference tomorrow here in Dubai, but what, what's your main message? It's twofold. One, the world of work is changing. So we're really forcing the conversation around innovation in the workplace, understanding how different work, the worker, and the workplace of the future will be. And the second thing is culture. You pointed it from the beginning. It is the importance of each organization understanding its unique culture and offering that to employees in its most authentic way. As the new CEO of Sharm, how are you how are you spreading the message globally of so, uh, human resources? So we are go traveling. There's no other way to do it than coming right to the market. So I'm so excited to be here. Just left Japan, went back to the United States. I'm here. We'll be in Brazil. Uh, we're literally evangelizing about work, and work is global. It's not a United States issue. It's a global matter. And so literally going to into the homes as you're now given the opportunity to do today, and talking with people about what work means and they're part of the globe. Now, um, you are a special advisor to President Trump. Yes. Um, how, how did that come about and, and how important is that? So I actually advise him on two areas. One is on historically black colleges and universities in the United States. The other one is most recently, I was appointed to his Workforce Policy Advisory Board. That's a special board where we are determining the future of work in the United States. So um, is HR, do you think, going in the right direction? Do you think that it is really helping employees of the future take up these new challenges that they're going to be facing? Well, there's no question that HR has now gone from the days of being a personnel administrative function to a really important strategic function of organizations. Yes, we're heading in the right way, and it's because we're taking the appropriate seat at the table. Do you think that talented employees, if you know, they, they want to stay, take a step back, many people say, okay, I want more life challenges, I don't feel I'm doing that in my present job. Should they do that? Should they, should they take a pay cut? There's no question that up is not the only way up. We often tell people you have to sometimes lateral over title as well as pay to find the job that brings you the most satisfaction. That's what ultimately we're hearing, particularly millennials, the newest generation of young employees are saying we must have value you and work. I have to know why what I do matters. And so what that sometimes means is you have to take a decrease in pay to achieve that real satisfaction that you want out of life. Johnny C. Taylor, Jr. I appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. All right, time now to update you on today's UAE bourses and the most active stocks.